Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is uh, Julius, and this is the software right here, VoxForge. And I clicked on the Quick Start, Julius Quick Start for Windows. Um, and this is the output. Well, actually, that is not the output. This, after I uh, extracted the file in my downloads folder, uh, it says Run Julian. Go ahead and delete that while we're here. Uh, it says Run Julian. So I run Julian. I run Julian as an administrator. Doesn't look like anything's happening. Okay. All right. So there it goes, and Julian has stopped working. We're not even. Uh, it doesn't even get started. Close program. Um, read me. Notepad. Simply extract the zip. Okay. Start with. Okay, command prompt change directory and run the following commands. Okay, run Julian bat. Run Julian bat. Hmm. It's assuming I put it into the C drive. Do I want to do that? Uh, okay, I'm going to extract the C drive. I really don't like doing that, but I'll go ahead and give it a shot because. Maybe that's what it wants. So I set that and enter. Okay. Cannot create any of those because it doesn't like it. Access is denied. Close. So the README is pre is precluding access to admin rights. Um, but I can run the bat file. This is going to take a little more time. This is why software, uh, why some software never gets off the ground is because it asks even the most ambitious users for way too much. All right, let's see where the command is under Vista. Oh, where is command prompt under Vista? There it is. Okay, so CD. Oh, I want to go into admin. LS. Oh dear. Uh, CD downloads. Dear. And where's the bat file? Okay, run Julian bat. Check the case. Okay, See, run, what do I do? Oh, I just type it, run, Julian bat. I use the tab to complete, and we run it. Yep, and it stopped working right from the beginning. So, I'd say that's the end of my bug report. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope that one day it will work, because I'd really like to be able to use an open source alternative to... Dragon Naturally Speaking, for a lot of reasons. Thank you for watching.